It's Friday morning, Glads. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. Here's the latest news from the Counseling Center. The college visit lineup continues next week with these schools. Pikes Peak Community College changed their visit to Thursday, February 8th, but Fort Hayes State is still scheduled for Tuesday, February 13th. Colorado Mesa will be here on Valentine's Day, and UCCS plans to be here on Thursday, February 15th. The Adams State reps would love to chat with you on Thursday, February 22nd, then visit with the reps from Lamar Community College on Friday, February 23rd. On Monday, February 26th, the reps from Barbizon Modeling and Acting School will be in the Lower Commons during lunch to tell you about their school programs. Closing out February visits will be the reps from CU Denver on February 28th. Seniors interested in attending PPCC in the fall, stop by the Counseling Center to sign up for PPCC's application day on Thursday, February 15th. The PPCC reps will be here to help you fill out the application. They will be back on Wednesday, April 11th to help you with registration. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, cosmetology classes are coming to Widefield. If you are interested in these classes, be sure to stop by the Counseling Center to add your name to the list. Seniors, the panoramic photo is next week on Tuesday, February 6th at 7 a.m. in Bowers Gym. If you haven't purchased your senior class shirt yet, you can still get one in the Counseling Center for $15. Get yours today and wear it next week. And remember, seniors, send your photos to Curie Carmody's email to have them included in the yearbook or in the senior slideshow. Photos must be of seniors only. If you've dropped the ball and need to make up failed credits to graduate on time, credit recovery is for you, and registration is open now. The spring session starts on February 12th, so you should get registered now. To register, go to the District Programs page on the WSD3.org website, select High School Credit Recovery, and get started recovering those credits. There will be a mandatory orientation for credit recovery on February 12th at 3.30 p.m. in the Widefield High School cafeteria. At this orientation, you will meet your CR teacher and receive your access code so you can take your pretest. If you cannot attend this orientation, you cannot start your session courses. Please see Ms. Dykus for more information. Coming up, we're checking with Ms. Betsy in the cafeteria for the lunch menu for today and Monday. Happy Friday, everybody. We're having chicken bowls today, so I hope you come down and see us. And on Monday, it'll be hot dog or chili dog. Have fun. Bye. Thanks, Ms. Betsy. Students, remember to add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. When we come back, we'll have club news, but first we're throwing it to Kieran Doolittle for our Gladiator Sports Update. We made it to Friday, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle with your Gladiator Sports Update. Spring sports will start practices at the end of the month on February 26th, and you will need to pick up a yellow card to play. Cards will be available in the main office on February 12th. Remember, you need to have a current physical on file and a yellow card to participate. If you missed the baseball meeting on Monday night, please check with Ms. Miles in the athletic director's office for that information. hey -o! Those of you interested in the ultimate Frisbee team, Mr. Nell and Mr. Wallace will be holding their informational meeting today at lunch in room four. If you cannot make it, please see Mr. Nell or Mr. Wallace for team details. The Rocky Mountain Color Guard Association is having its first competition tomorrow at Mesa Ridge High School. Our WHS Color Guard will be competing at 4.36 p.m. Cost to attend is $5 for students with ID and $10 for adults. Glad we wanted to give some love to our robotics team who qualified for the state competition last weekend. Let's hear from them in their own words. My name is Kenny Klimas and I am an engineer and programmer. How did your robot do during the past competitions? We did pass but it did not move a lot. We had problems with the phones but we did outstandingly well for his driving and, and trying to work on the robot. I'm Zachary, and I design and program the robot. Uh, the materials we used were VEX equipment from Mr. Bergen's class. My name is Lucian, and my job with the robot is to program. The robot went horribly during the past competition. The phones did not work very well. The robot has some technical difficulties, but we made it to state because of our notebook and our gracious professionalism. Ooh. Good luck to the robotics team at State. Our forensics team is headed to a competition today and tomorrow at Discovery Canyon campus. 
Good luck to all of those participants. We'll have results for you on Monday. One more note for forensics team members. Please remember to wear your team shirt next week on Thursday for the team picture. It will be in room 210 during advisory. From the NJROTC desk, cadets, the military ball is quickly approaching. If you plan to bring an outside guest, mark your calendars because those forms will be available starting on February 14th and will be due by March 1st. We will bring you additional details as the ball gets closer. The wrestling team is headed to league championships this Saturday in Canyon City. If you can, if you can make it down to support our gladiator grapplers, they would appreciate your support. In swimming news, our ladies are taking a strong team back into the pool today and tomorrow for their league championships. If you can make it out there, you'll see some fast times at Cheyenne Mountain High. Now, here's Doc with our health tip of the week. Hey guys, it's Doc with your health tip of the week. This week we're talking about ice and snow. I know we've just recently had our first real snow, but it's time to start thinking about it. We want to be safe when we're driving and walking to and from school. So we need to take extra time. Whether we're driving or walking somewhere, snow and ice can be very slippery. If we're walking around on the ice, we need to make sure we're wearing good rubber-soled shoes, getting good traction. If you happen to fall down on ice, take your time getting up. Evaluate your body. Make sure you don't have any injuries. When you're driving, you have to take extra time because it's slippery, just like when we're walking. So plan ahead and make time for your route so that you can get here safe. Hey Glads, next week, Wednesday, is the NCAA National Signing Day. We have five, that's right, five student athletes who will be signing the national letters of intent to play football at various schools after graduation. If you can make it, come join the party in the small gym at 3 p.m. as we celebrate TJ Davis, Myrie Goodwin, Xavier Perkins, Isaac Price, and Sam Reed. And finally, despite some scrappy playing and fearless moves, our Lady Glads weren't able to press the court against the Purple School on Wednesday night and took a loss. With a score of 41 to 68, the men, however, managed to overcome some outside technical difficulties to cage the Grizzlies for the win before a full house with a score of 65 to 58. If you didn't get to that game, we have another doubleheader basketball matchup tonight against the Elizabeth Cardinals. Our Lady Glads hit the court at 6 p.m. and the men tip off at 7.30. We packed the house on Wednesday and we can do it again tonight. We'll have scores for you on Monday. That's it for our sports update. Have a great weekend. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Now back to you, Hannah and Ethan. Thanks, Kieran. Since we're in scheduling mode, there are several really great opportunities available for next year. Here's some information for your consideration. First, KWHS wants you. Applications are now available in room 102, Applications are now available in room 102 if you would like to join our staff. See Ms. Snoop soon because applications are due today. If you already picked up an application, please be sure to return it by the end of the day. Sophomores and juniors, the teacher cadet applications are available in room 202 from Ms. Ship. Time is running out, so get your application in quickly. Renaissance applications are now available on the school wires page. Everyone is eligible to apply this time, including freshmen. All applications are due next Wednesday, February 7th to Miss Sardinia in room 130, no later than 3 p.m. She will not take any late applications, so be sure to check with her if you need more information. Student Union is open again in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. Be sure you have a sticker on your ID. The lost and found bin in the business office is growing. Please come check to see if any of these items are yours. Any items not claimed will be donated. Any student interested in competing in the Xi Pi Annual All City High School Step, Dance, and Talent Hunt, please see Mr. Washington in room 115 for details and entry information. They welcome individual and group dancers, musicians, vocalists, and thespians. The talent showcase will be on March 3rd at Pikes Peak Community College. Cash prizes will be awarded for first, second, and third places. Students and teachers, golden tickets are coming soon. Teachers, remember to hand out your golden ticket to that one student among all your students who deserve it. Students, if you get a golden ticket, remember to put it in one of the boxes for your chance to win some very cool prizes. Prizes will be drawn at the assembly on February 27th. Attention, NJROTC cadets. The military ball is right around the corner. As we get more news, we'll keep you in the loop. For now, ladies, you might want to start making those appointments to check out the dresses in Becca's closet. We heard they got some new inventory. See HK in the library or Miss Molina in room 111 to make those appointments. That's all for our news today. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Ethan Simon. Have a great weekend.